Hello, everyone. Retro Robbie here. And you know what the day is. Uh oh. Yes, Guess you do. what day you it know is. What the day is. Guess what day it, it is. is. So huh? that means Anybody? It is Wild Wednesday baseball card mystery pack. So I got two packs here from Michael in Arizona. And he calls these modern nostalgia mystery packs. So. That's what he says. There's going to be, it looks like, 10 cards in a pack. So, of the 10, of the one is going to be a gold hit, a number parallel, or a refractor, relic, or auto, or star rookie card. Uh, we consider it when the name is a hit, not a no name. So, we're going to look for that. There's also nine other cards in there. Of the nine, five or six are modern. Three or four are vintage, so that's what I'm going to look for, those vintage cards. No commons, no dupes, roll rising rookies, or I'm sorry, rising rookies, all big time names. We mean it. Absolutely. No junk cards. So let's take it to the test. Let's see what he gives us. There's also going to be a vintage or a modern pack in here as well. So we're going to get a lot of good stuff in here. So I got my trusty scissors. And we're going to test my mad skills here, as always, and cut this baby open, as always. And here we go. So we got two packs. So let's see. Let's see if I can grab the first one there. I feel it. There it is. Oh, it's a fancy one. So we're going to pull both of these out. There's nothing else in there. So we got two right there. So you know how we're going to do this, as always, when I got two. We got heads and we got tails. So got my trusty lucky coin. A chance, and we're gonna go heads first. So, right there is gonna be the first one. Set that aside. And those nice sealable things that we can open up. I always like these. So, modern nostalgia nine cards, one hit, one pack. That's a good concept. So, let's see. Let's take it to the test. Let's have fun with this, as always, for Wild Wednesday. Here we go. Boom. He has it covered up for us. So, let's take a look at that pack. That first pack is going to be a, a 2021 Heritage Pack. Very nice. I love these. These are my favorite. As you know, I collect these. This does not look like it's a hobby pack, though, so that's going to be a retail pack, unfortunately. So probably not going to be much in there, but we will take it. And there is the hit. We'll save that for last. He has it covered up. Look at that. He has this all set up for us. The suspense is killing me. It's killing you. I know it is. So let's see. Let's crack that open. And there it is. Let's pull that back. And boom! We're going to get a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's going to be a 2021 Tops card. So I can tell from the 70 years. So there's the back. Series 1 Tops of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So we will take that all day long. He's a great player currently. So we will take that from the Toronto Blue Jays. So up next, we're going to get a Devin Williams from the Milwaukee Brewers. And that's going to be his rookie card. So let's flip that around. <laughs> Another 2020 updates. This is becoming my jam all of a sudden. I just get tons of 2020 updates <laughs> this one's up Devin williams what are you gonna do there he is so very nice we will take that up next is it is an unleashed card of jose abreu of the chicago white Sox. so very nice kind of sparkly and dunrus form as always panini well that's an interesting card there's the back. We will take it. Jose Abreu. Very nice. We will take that. Up next is a Jacob DeGroom card from 2021 Heritage. So there it is. 2020 Heritage in action featuring those 72s that I love so much. So we will take that. Up next is Alec Bohm of the Philadelphia Phillies. And this is a Bowman's first card. So that one is from 2020. Well, don't know much from about him, so. But there it is. There is a Bowman Chrome of Alec Boom. Up next, very nice, Sammy Sosa, Leaf Limited. I believe these are 94s. 
Yes, 94s. I always liked those. Those, are, those were always sharp. I might have to open one of those one of these days, a box of those. They're just so sharp. It is so cool. Too bad they produce so many of those things. Uh, Leaf Limited. I have to look at the prices of those. I might have to open some of those. But that's Sammy Sosa. Oh, the Chicago Cubs. Get my Cubs love. I love it. We'll take that all day long. Up next, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. That's those 94 collector's choice. So uh, record pace. I just got, if you recall, I got a uh, a uh, Griffey of that one. So we're going to get a Frank Thomas as well. So there's that one. Up next is going to be Dave Justice from those dreaded 91 studios. I don't know why I don't like these. I don't know. They're just blah. I get it. So, David Justice, so of the Atlanta Braves. Final card is Gary Sheffield of 1990 Fleer. And that is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, there's the back. Let me know what you thought. Yeah, yeah whatever. That was, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see what the hit is on this one. No, let's go. We're going to open the pack first. What am I saying? Let's open the pack. All right, getting some more heritage love here. So add my collection, as you know, I love heritage. I'm gonna start with Jody Voto in action from Cincinnati Reds. We're gonna get NL strikeout leaders of Jacob DeGroom, Trevor Bauer, and Aaron Nola. And we're gonna get uh, Claiborne Torres of uh, the Yankees in action. We're gonna get a lot of action cards. Look at that, Ryan Mountcastle of oh, the Baltimore Orioles. We're going to get the nice Tiger Rookie Stars there of Casey Mines and Tarek Soup Ball. So, very nice. Both of those pitchers are playing with the Tigers. They're both doing actually really good. So, uh, we'll take that card all day long. Up next, J.D. Davis of the Mets. We get Devin Williams of the Brewers. And an all-star rookie card there. So, love it. Eric Thames of the Washington Nationals. And we're going to end it off with a Justin Verlander. Oh, the Houston Astros. So, nothing there that I saw. Um, I didn't even see a variety or anything like that. Oh, uh, that's too bad. So, we're going to take that, though. It was a retail pack, so nothing special. Now, we're going to take a look at that hit. So, let's see what we're going to get. Let's flip it over. And, boom, we're going to get a... 1990 score or 91 score of Mike Mussina. <laughs> Do I consider that a hit? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna show you the price on that. Mike Mussina, he was good. Man, they produced so much of this. Uh, 91 score. <sighs> if you're calling that your hit. I don't know about it, buddy. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Do you think that was a hit or not? I don't know, man. All right. Here we go. Here's the next pack. Uh, let's open that up. Uh, I'm on the fence on this one. Let's see if the second pack kind of takes over here. And it's covered for my protection. So here we go. There's the hit. And we're going to get a double bag. We're going to get a double bag bonus here. We're going to get, yeah, 1986 tops. We will take that. That's an older one. And guess what? We get to eat some gum. Yeah, you know I love that gum. So, and we're going to get a Denny's Instant Replay Pinnacle from 1996. Full motion hologram. There's going to be a card in there. Oh, man, 90s, man. They Package cars for everywhere. Jimmy Dean sausages, Denny's, Coke, Costas, man. No matter what, man, they put it on everywhere. So we're going to get a bonus car from 1996 Pinnacle. So we'll open that up as well. Let's open the pack. Let's get going. Let's see what we get here. Oh. All right. Let's reveal that card. Boom. We get a Fernando Tatis Jr. from uh, the Diamond Kings. So that's from Dunruss. That's purple. All in purple form. Oh, there you go. Fernando Tatis Jr. Do not know much about 
Panini cards, as you know. They're more modern. 2021 Panini Downrest. That's a purple. We'll see if that's a parallel or not. So there it is. Fernando Tedes Jr. Uh, the Padres. Up next, we're going to get another purple version of uh, Travis Dermonti. Oh, as I recall, he went back to the Braves. So Tigers picked him up in a trade. Uh, Who did they trade? I think they traded Sean Green for him. I think it only lasted one or two years with the Tigers and then went back to the Braves. So that's a Topps Chrome. And that's going to be the purple or pink variation card. I do know that. So there's the bag. It's a refractor. Oh, very nice. There it is. Detroit Tigers. Up next is going to be Tristan McKenzie of Cleveland. Oh, it's like another Panini card. And it is. So it's from the Indians. 2021 Diamond Kings Baseball. So, again, don't know much about these. So... I'll put the price on there if it's worth a lot of money or not. If not, you won't see it, so we'll keep on going. Up next, we're going to get a Christian Yelsh, Yelsh card from the Milwaukee Brewers. Those 2030s uh, and the stupor flecky card from top. So I think I got one of these before, a different player. So there's the back. We will take it. Up next, Luis Robert, Bowman rookie card. So we'll take that. I like Luis Robert, even though he's with the dreaded White Sox. But, hey, there's a White Sox fan out there, and he's a pretty decent player. So we will take that. That's going to be from uh, 2020 Bowman there. So there it is. We will take that. Up next is going to be a Jorge uh, Polanco of the Minnesota Twins. It's an Inception card. Oh, that's a thicky one, that's for sure. Thick one there from 2021. So Jorge Polanco from the Minnesota Twins. And that's tops, as you know. Inception card. So very nice. Up oh, next, no, hey, we get a Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Bo knows football. Up and back. Bo knows basketball. Right side, so. Bo knows. He was all in here in Chicago, as you know. Here's the back. Well, the first year with the White Sox. Great card. So mass produced. <laughs> there we go. Bo Jackson from the 92 uh, upper deck. Up next is uh, Cal Ripken Jr., and that's a McDonald's card. Like I said, <laughs> they produced everything for everyone. Food companies, Denny's, McDonald's. Holy cow. This one is a limited edition. It's very gold of Cal Ripken Jr. There's the back. That's going to be a 92 McDonald's card. So I do not remember those whatsoever. So... We'll show you the price on that one. So very nice. 1992 top slash McDonald's card. Baseball's best. Oh, Cal Ripken Jr. And last one, we're going to 1988 Greg Maddox. So very nice. We'll take it. Even though they produce so many of those. Uh, it's going to be his rookie card, as you know. There's the back. 1988 tops of Greg Maddox. All right, we're going to open up that Denny's card. Get the one card. Be strong. Don't use drugs. That's my message for the day. Don't do drugs. Gentlemen, brings me to my next point. Don't smoke crack. Go. Man, we're going to get a filler card, too, on top of it. So let's flip that over. I see this the back. So boom, we're going to get a very fuzzy card. <laughs> Oh, Jeff Bagwell. That is 1996 Pinnacle. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of going hologram sports flick. You can turn that and take some good stuff. Take some good green and watch him swing away. And full 1996 sports flick holographic form. That one is this Jeff Bagwell. So, yeah, we're going to get 
There, there's the bag. We'll show that bag. Six of 28. God darn it, now I gotta collect the Denny's cards because, <laughs> ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, Jeff Bagwell from the Houston Astros. We will take that all day long. That's funny. How to view full motion holograms. Man, they gotta give you instructions how to look at those things. <laughs> Because if you're, like, spaced out, you need instructions on how to look at the Jeff Bagwell Denny card. Because, like me, when I was in 1996, I was partying hard until 3 a.m. to find a Denny's. And, you know, you get your card and you need instructions on how to view it once you're hungover. So, <laughs> that's it. Who remembers those days going to Denny's after you're hungover from partying? I know I did. All right, up next, 1986 Tops. Yeah. Oh, 86 goodness. And look at that gum. Oh, yeah. You know I'm going to eat 86 gum. Look at that yummy goodness. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instantly, it disintegrates in your mouth. Um, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Mmm. You love cardboard. That comes for you. All right. Here we go. We got Greg Gross from the Gross. Wow. I'm still chewing here. Greg Gross of the Phillies. I'm going to get Gary Carter. Very nice in the bats. We'll take that all day long. That's a great picture of him. I'm going to get Rick Rodon of the Pirates. Bob Horner of the Braves. And up next is going to be Alfredo Griffin of the Oakland A's. And we got Paul Molitor from the Brewers. Very nice. We will take that. We get Glenn Davis of the Astros. Bill Lasky of the Expos. We can get Tom Herr All-Star card. So there we go. Tom Herr. Terry Fracona of the Expos. We can get Dan Quisenberry. There he is. A nice full mustache bow. You got to love the quiz. Very nice from the Kansas City Royals. Up next, we're going to get Mike Easler from the Red Sox. Chris Brown from the Giants. And the last card is going to be another all-star card of Ron Guidry. And that one's going to be a uh, gum stain back. So we'll have to see if he signs. So get him signed. So there's a 1986. Here is our hit from the second pack. So let's see what we get. See if it does better than Mike Messina there. So here we go. Boom. We're going to get Rookie of the Year, White Sox favorites of Nick uh, Marigal. Marigal of the Chicago White Sox. That's a Bowman Chrome card, rookie card. There is the back. So we'll show you what the price of that one is. So... There it is, all chromy form from Bowman. There's Nick. So that is it. So I'm going to add all this up and see what we get when we end value. And we're going to give our final ratings, get the highlights here of all the cars from pack one and pack two. So we'll be right back and give you the highlights. All right, here is the summary of those two packs. The uh, Baseball Mystery Packs, Modern Nostalgia, nine cards, one hit, and one pack. So here it is. We're going to start with the first pack here. The first pack, um, the top cards of the, of the 10 that he gave, um, I'm going to go with this one right here. And that one was Beckett Low value of $6. So that is the 2021 Unleashed card of Jose Abreu. From the White Sox, there's the back. So it looks like it's an insert card. Um, like I said, it, it was Beckett low of six bucks. That was the best rated one of that bunch. Uh, we also got one pack of the 2021 Heritage. It was all base, um, unfortunately. Top card there was uh, definitely by far the uh, Tigers rookie cards of Casey Mize and Tyrex uh, Scooball. Um, this card here, I think the high value there was 250. So our Beckett Low, Beckett Low was 250 on that one. So not bad, but still not the greatest in the world. Would have been better if it was a hobby pack and not a retail pack. 
Here is the hit. I don't know if I consider this a hit or not. I know Mike Messina was good. Uh, but from a 1991 score, um, this was Beckett low of a buck. So, I mean, that was worth more than the hit. So if you're giving away hits, um, you know, I would think that would be your hit over this would be your hit. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, total of pack one equaled Beckett low of $17.83. So... Here was the second pack. The second pack uh, actually did worse than the first pack, unfortunately. Uh, from that pack there, the highest one here was uh, the Diamond Kings. This is a purple or pink version. They were both the same price, so I don't know if it's purple or if it's the pink version. I'm going to go with purple uh, version of this one. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. of the Padres. Uh, this is Diamond Kings from 2021 Panini. Uh, this was back at low of uh, $4. So that was the high one card there. It's a parallel card. Like I said, I'm not a huge Panini fan per se. But hey, what are you, you going to do? It's... It's nice. It's uh, definitely the purple version, I would say. So either or, it was worth $4 back at low. Uh, the, the hit, if you want to call it that, well, I mean, it was a hit. I'm not going to lie. It was a hit. This was uh, back at low of two fifty, but still, if this had more value than this one. It is the, uh, I believe it's 2021. It's a Bowman. A uh, chrome of Nick uh, Mad Madrigal. All the White Sox, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's a nice card. I, you know, I'm not a huge White Sox fan, so, you know, but I'm sure there's a little value there. So, I, you know, that is what he considered the hit. Up next, we did end up with a, a pack of 1986 tops, and they're always fun to open in 86. Unfortunately, there was not much in there. Uh, a couple of semi-stars, uh, semi, you know, semi-good players. I picked Gary Carty, Paul Malter. They were both a nickel apiece. You know, 86, you know, there was really no good hit in that one. Um, but we'll give Gary Carter the nods there. And then they gave us a bonus pack of that uh, 1996 Pinnacle from Denny's of Jeff Bagwell. That one ended up being back at low of 30 cents. So the second pack in total equaled $16.10. So as you know, I was both in it at uh, $54.57 uh, total back at low value of all this was uh, $33.93, so I lost $20.64. Um, you know, I'm going to rank this from anywhere from two thumbs up to two thumbs down. I am bantering back and forth in my head here, but I think overall I'm going to give this two thumbs down. Hey, uh, you said you know, you said you were supposed to get six vintage cards. They were all from the 90s. Um, you know, there was a couple of good hits. But the hits are Panini. I'm not a fan of that, so that's a negative strike. I ended up losing $20 on this thing. Um, even what little hope I had with the 86 pack, you know, it ended up being nothing. Um, you know, I got the weird Denny's card. That hey, that's always fun. I got Tigers rookie. I mean, there were some little highlights here, but overall, there's just no value in this thing. It is just when you lose half your money on something, uh, you know, if it would have been more from the 80s or 70s, probably would have gave one thumbs down. But this is definitely not worth it. <laughs> like I said, when you lose twenty dollars and you got really Nothing. I'm sure people like the, the Taz Juniors and their Brayus, but there was not much in there, to be honest with you. So I gave it two thumbs down. Tell me what you guys think. Was I too rough? Do you think I was fair? 
Um, again, I didn't see much value in this at all, so that's why I got the two thumbs down. So, but let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscription button because we're getting close to 200, and I'll give some of this stuff away. I, you know, I might give you the Tadis Jr. card. Come on, you might want that. Um, so thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.